Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on wherever you are watching me from right now. Today, I want to be discussing about the roof beam on our structure. That's remind me, before I proceed, this is Ostotech. Nigerian Limited, the Asplan Market. If you are joining me for the first time, please, I would like you to subscribe to our YouTube channel because from time to time we'll be discussing about house construction matters. And I want to believe that it's going to help lots and lots of individuals because most times we carry out construction activities but we don't really know the principles behind what we are doing having money alone is not enough for you to just pay and start a construction process there are little ideas that you can gain or you get from this platform that you can implement in your construction activities for example i've noticed over the years that most building does not have roof beam in our construction activities I cannot actually hold on to any reason why they are not including the roof beam again in our structure, but I find it as a challenge that needs to be corrected. I don't know how it started, but I think it needs to be corrected because first and foremost, the roof beam has a particular function on our construction activities okay but in a case where you engage maybe an architect a builder or a, a mercenary a mercenary man for your building activities one it is not because you know that that person is a professional but it is because People have told you he's the one that built A, he's the one that built B, he's the one that built C. And one thing about construction that I've get to know about is that there are people that that are in the building industry now that are not professionals. The mere fact that they have built one, two, three does not mean they know the meaning or the value of every member in the building activities that might be one of the reason why in most cases they see the roof being as not a valued member before i proceed i i think i have to show you guys what roof beam look like if you watch all this place with form work as you are seeing right now they are the roof beam okay we've not cast it yet okay we are they are just preparing the form work for it okay after the preparation of the form work we will now need to cast the roof beam okay this roof beam is different from the lintel i think in my previous video i've discussed about the lintel the purpose of the lintel where lintels where, why is what is the exact function of the lintel and i've equally explained the reason why we do lintel and in some cases there's no need for a chain lintel it all depends on the function of that lintel at that particular purpose and the connection okay sometimes you see people putting chain lintel 
in all the building whereas there's no need for chain link tail okay but in a situation whereby there's need for you to chain all the building with lintels that is welcome provided you can afford the materials for it it's okay but in situation where there's no need for it please provide lintel for the places that is needed it's still very okay because the function of a lintel is to take care of this door and the window space so that block work can continue at upper level now for today i'm talking about the roof beam sorry for going back a little what is roof beam that brings me to the question what is roof beam in my own little way as an engineer or as a practitioner who is in the building industry i will simply put it in this way that the roof beam they are structural members okay that help to carry the load from the roof straight to the column before the column will not transfer it to the foundation in the case here there's no roof beam what do you think happens to the structure it simply means that the walls are the ones that are going to be carrying the load from the roof now imagine you are using a nine inches block or some of us that use six inches blocks at the final stage and you are putting a roof member on those blocks without the roof beam what do you think will happen to those blocks automatically they will not be able to carry the roof load and what will you be experiencing you'll be experiencing cracks all over the world severe cracks if you want to avoid cracks on your building one thing you should always consider is the roof beam like if you watch now as you are seeing they have started casting the roof the form work okay this particular building you are seeing now i think is a five bedroom duplex with a paint floor this area now is the paint floor area we are still working on it and before the end of this video we must have finished uh, we we'll finish already the paint floor. Now this is the entire building structure. From as you are seeing it, if you look at it very well, you know by the time we finish this structure, it's going to be wow, it's going to be wow stuff. Which I'll still bring the video for you by God's grace, if uh, everything works out as planned. For now, we have finished everything about even the parapet. Oh, I said parapet. Okay, yeah, let me use the word parapet because that is what we are used to. But uh, in a more professional way, I will use the word concrete fissure. Okay, we are done with the concrete fissure aspect of the job. Okay, if you watch closely, you discover that we've raised blocks up at the paint floor level. Okay, now the point I'm trying to make is. The roof beam is a critical and important member of any structure. If you are building a story building or even a bungalow, it is always advised, especially if you want to get standard, make provision for your roof beam. Because if there's no provision for roof beam, you are likely to be experiencing cracks on your walls. Okay? For those of us that are practitioners and we try to avoid telling the client the right thing probably because of the cost involved or probably because of 
the money the client is willing to pay for such services. I want to beg us, if you are giving a quote, you should know that the roof beam is an important element in any solid structure. Because these days, most of our blocks that we use are not even designed up to standards, which you agree with me. So it becomes worrisome when you are still giving those blocks the roof load to carry. Watch closely all, almost houses that are built these days. Once they are trying to roof it, you don't see the roof beam. You only just see the highest you see them raise the blocks up to the roof level. After that, the next thing is to start putting the wall plate on the block and using a, maybe the quarter rod, bind them together. And the next thing is the roof. Fine, it will stay. Fine, it will last. Okay? But at but yet you still have you still if there's a strong wind those block okay if there's a strong wind if it's, if it's an area where you have a strong force like there is strong wind that generating reasonable force you have problem with still the roof the wind can pull up the roof and take it to a different zone a different direction okay and that can even cause disaster in that environment so why we provide the roof beam? One is to carry the load. Secondly, to give strength to the roof, the connection between the roof beam, because there's always, when you are providing the roof beam, you always provide a quarter rod to tie the wall, the wall plate that's connecting the roof together. So that if there's any wind force, okay, the roof will still remain where it is. That's why you see in some areas, when there's serious wind action, you see some roof leaving the structure to a different location. What is the cause? This is because there's no provision for roof beam. Okay? So, if you are watching right now, you discover that many of our buildings today Starting from the bungalows, in fact, most of the bungalows does not even have roof beam at all, majority of them. It is only, it, it, most houses I've seen roof beam are houses that are handled by engineers because they know the meaning. That brings me to the point, majority of our clients, you want to engage the service of an engineer simply because you cannot afford their fees or because you feel that they will be too expensive then you go and look for some other people that can take lesser fee in the place of an engineer two things that are involved there they will not give you the service of an engineer Rather, they will give you their own services. Majority of them knows just one thing. They know that they have built a bungalow for Mr. A, and this is what they, they've done, and that is what they will apply. But in the case of an engineer, it is not what they built for A that they will build for B. Because all structures are not the same. Okay? All structures are not the same. The span are not the same. So if, are, if an engineer is looking at your structure, is looking at, as, at your structure based on the parameters that you have in your work and not based on what he has done for Mr. A. If there's no need to provide a particular member, the engineer will be in best position to say, no, this will be okay like this. This is good this way. This is better this way. But when you are using a non-engineer, but you are using the person simply because the person has done a project before, 
or another project before or because he's good with this sorry my dear that person that former project might not be the same with your own the designs might be different and this is the reason why majority of the builders today don't provide roof beam because they believe it's not necessary they believe it's not important i think with a little i've said so far i will list there are other things i want to discuss but so far so good i believe i've made little contribution regarding to the roof beam if you are building your house tomorrow next tomorrow anytime in the future always remember that there's always need for you to have a roof beam on your structure if anybody tells you that there's no need for roof beam please tell them to provide you with a roof beam it's going to help you a lot it's going to save you from any unforeseen circumstances and it's going to make your house look very unique though you might spend little cost to achieve it but if from the onset you specify it definitely you are sure that they are going to implement it for you thank you very much please if you have joined us or if you have been watching me for some time now please remember to help share this video outside sharing it subscribe if you have not subscribed this way you help us to reach more people so that at the end of the day what we are looking for is to enlighten people okay thank you very much and god bless you